once in production, a script must be both an unchanging point of reference and a means of facilitating constant revision. The industry has developed many techniques for reconciling those two conflicting needs, and Screenwriter supports virtually all of them. Let's start with locking your script. To do that, on the menu bar, go up to the production menu and click the top item there, lock the script. This rather ominous looking dialog box then warns you that this is a serious milestone and a step to take only after the script has been sold and is really truly going into production. Of course it is, but first make a backup copy. Then come back to this dialog box and click the lock button. You then get another dialog box. There are so many options when locking the script, and they are all matters of preference, and those preferences vary among different studios and production companies. So be sure to ask. Then make the appropriate selections here and click the OK button. This displays yet another dialog box. This time we were informed that adding all of those mores and continues that were specified in the previous dialog box take up space on the page. So, do we prefer to cheat the existing script elements to create the extra space needed, or do we prefer to adjust the page breaks to accommodate the items being added? This is also typically a matter of preference, and since adjusting the selection seldom adds more than a few pages to a standard length script, we'll accept the suggested default of Adjust. A final dialog box informs you that this should be the last revision of the script printed onto white paper. This white paper indicates that this is the baseline production script and the point of reference for all future revisions. It also implies that all changes going forward will be considered part of the first revision, which is typically printed on blue pages and therefore called the blue pages. Now let's click OK and then take a look at what happens when revisions are made to a locked script. 